Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we are going to look at probot.io and setting up your reaction roles inside of your Discord server. Now, I know I already made a video like about this, but this one's going to be a little bit more direct and to the point so that, um, you know, we don't go over as many things as I went over in my original video. So, without further ado, uh, here's the actual website. Here is our discord it's a brand new clean one now i definitely encourage from just testing out the prior video to go ahead and create whatever channel that you want um first before you try and go in and create the action rules so an example is obviously start with general i went ahead and created the welcome page because once i added the probot it was lagging in recognizing the new channels so this is a precautionary uh, step just go ahead and put whatever it is that you want here first and then go ahead and add probot So now that we have this already done because I want the welcome channel to be the actual area um, For the salute uh, select a role to take place. Let's go ahead and jump back into the browser And here's the browser. Let's go ahead and add it to discord You want to go ahead and select where it's going uh, Mine's going into the test server Okay I am human. All right, so we heard that nice little magical beep. That should mean that it's there. Then let's go ahead and go back into Discord. And if you haven't done so already, which I know you shouldn't have technically, but I mean, based on the video, if you need to make your roles, now's the time to go ahead and do that. I went ahead and just made three tank, soldier, and commander. They have no special purpose. And then what you want to do is make sure that your probot isn't on the bottom make sure it's on the top so maybe this is what was conflicting with me earlier but go ahead and if it isn't drag it to the top because essentially when i did have it it was on the top so somehow i went back down to the bottom either way make sure this bad boy is leading the pack okay so you made your new roles you set all that up and if you're unsure of how to do it all you do is click the little plus button um And then all you do is add whatever you want to add to it and then save changes on each one of these. If you want to have them, you know, be specified in their own roles, make sure you click this little display role member separately so that you get that all set up. And then probot, like I said, just ensure that this bad boy's at the top, click save changes. And I'm going to actually going to come back in there just to make sure that it in fact saved it. I am going back over it two times, but all right. So we're gold. That guy is where he's supposed to be. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump back over into the um, probot.io uh, web UI that it has. Come on over here to embed messages. All right. So it says new embed right here. Go ahead and click on it. Embed name. I'm just going to go ahead and name it roles title select a role okay description choose your role okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and save changes all right that's what i wanted to see that little success that little success marker that just popped up that's good okay so now we want to send this to our discord because this this has to be done before we can add the reaction rules so this is just the first step it must be done this is what it will look like um when it gets to chat now this is very basic again we're not going over the details we're just getting you set up so that it's actually working correctly so send message and then where do you want to send it welcome or general i'm gonna go ahead and send it to welcome click send new message success yes we're making progress so let's go ahead and bounce back over to discord and it looks like in the welcome channel we have select your role perfect so now let's go ahead and go back over to our ui on the probe on the probot website and now let's just go ahead and save changes one more time why because it probably just can't hurt <laughs> And then let's come on down to reaction rules. Okay, now there's nothing here. So let's just go ahead and click on add message. And then embeds, select an embed. 
we just sent that message um so we're gonna the one that we just created was called roles that was the name of it so go ahead and click on that this is the this is the part that most people um somehow miss or the website actually does have delays and issues with its refreshing so this is like the this is the key part right here choose a message which one did you just send out uh, we just sent the welcome embed so that's the one that we're going to select this one right here and once you do that um, what we're going to go ahead and do is set and select the emoji reactions all right so add reaction and let's go ahead and do this right here so i just selected that emoji and then this little plus sign right next to it i'm going to go ahead and click it and now we're going to assign a role okay now look now we have no roles that are showing up we have another problem because this is all the roles should be uh loaded up right here so let's just go ahead and save changes because for whatever reason it's not loading anything um but if we look back at discord we see that it actually loaded up the emoji uh but obviously that doesn't do anything because there's no roles associated to it so let's go back and see if we click on it again okay well look at that for some odd reason once it sent it um and it essentially just refreshed itself it gave us the roles that we can go ahead and select so i'm gonna go ahead and select shark i'm gonna add another reaction i'm gonna add the diamond and then this one is gonna go to tank and i'm gonna add the hatchet soldier the gi and we're gonna name that for the commander so now we have all the roles that we wanted everything's set up and then toggle this adds or removes roles depending on whether the user has the roles recommended this is just this is this particular scenario the toggle is when you want people to select more than one you know you want people to have like a variety of roles that are available to them if you're looking for them just to get into your server you're going to want to use just the give command um, but right now if you again, if you're just assigning them uh, the variety this is how you're going to go ahead and do it and then go ahead and click on save changes and then we are going to go ahead and jump back over to the discord and it went ahead and loaded up all the new additional um reaction rules so now if i click on one uh, let me see right, so currently I, actively i have zero rules so if i click on the hatchet oh yeah if i click on the diamond obviously these are going to go by rank um depending on how you line them up but as you can see they are in fact working so this was this was the simpler version of my prior video so i definitely hope this helped you if you have any questions suggestions please let me know in the comments below um i'm here to help you that's what that's that's what i like to do i like to try and take things that uh don't seem to work and make them work for everybody so again let me know in the comments below i always enjoy hearing from you guys and i definitely appreciate you watching my videos because that video just hit 1000 clicks and for me that's a big milestone so i just i definitely want to say thank you um for that and yeah that's really that's really all that it boils down to so this is joe with doji trading i appreciate all that you do and i appreciate you guys that are watching so until next time do what you do